You ever try to like clean your bathroom, but you just end up plucking your brows and finding random lipstick and um, contemplating things? Guys? Men? Do you do this? Is this like a lady thing? What do guys do when you clean your bathroom? And Yolanda has her hair down. Yes, Yolanda, yes. Muy bonita. Oh, wait. Sorry, I thought it wasn't working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> okay, it's time for Ask Yolanda. Your skin question. Skin question. <laughs> so, Yolanda. Oh, I have a good one to start with. Okay. I have been experimenting with retinol. If we remember what retinol is... It is a vitamin A uh, serum you wear at night that was originally to help with acne, but now helps with everything and fine lines and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> However, it's very strong and very concentrated, and if you use it too much and then get weird or get... <laughs> I'm going to delete that one video. <laughs> okay. And you... Sometimes, if you put on retinol every night, like I did, uh, what happens, Yolanda? Well, one, you should message your uh, skin tech. <laughs> That's you? That's me. <laughs> I just zoom. That's my zoom. They push zoom. <laughs> me. <laughs> Perfect. Um, if it is too strong, one, I would suggest for you to only use it once or twice a week. Um, so not every also, night. Not every night. No, your skin has to get used to it. And then also, what I would suggest is if somebody is starting off with using a retinol and they're new to the retinol world, start with the lowest percentage so your skin can get used to it. Ah, uh, yes. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. Great. So. But the retinoid is like super high concentration. You have to get a prescription for it, right? Yes. But the same thing. So why do people get that? Once, twice a week kind of thing. Well, some people want to go with a little bit more of a stronger um, choice. That and much, sometimes, eh? I know. Um, and then sometimes it may be more on a prescription for those that do have more of a cystic acne. Oh, uh, like spot treating. Yeah. We got cut off. So it was spot treating, cystic acne, yeah. and anything else? Don't a lot of hyperpigmentation that's going on with the skin. So mm -hmm. say if somebody's suffering from melasma or <laughs> <laughs> the broken brokenness. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> Maybe nothing. Nothing. I didn't <laughs> see anything. Nobody <laughs> saw anything. Um, so yeah, if somebody is suffering from a little bit of melasma and they need to really break it down, melasma can have a lot of layers of um, pigmentation so it can get thick. It's very difficult to get rid of. Actually, you can't really get rid of melasma. You can control it, but the retinol or retinoid can actually help to break it down a little bit more than an actual retinol. Oh, yeah. Every part of their body. Majority of the time, yeah. What is the word? It kind of starts to look a little. Yeah, like sad. 
bad movies. Sounds. Yeah, like baby faces. Yep, yep. And it helps to tighten it. Interesting. Just get a little bit more tighter. Okay. Get it tight, get it right. Exactly. <laughs> could literally sing anything. Would you welcome, please, Linda Ronstadt.